Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. A lot of times I'll spend hours at a time on these dirt roads driving around in the truck and sometimes it's time to stretch instead of going eight hours on the road at once. Every now and then I'll stop and go for like a half an hour walk. It's good to stretch, get out of the truck and just sprayed some bug spray. I don't see any at the moment, but the only thing that doesn't care about bug spray is deer fries, horse flies, everything else it keeps away. And if I keep moving, the deer flies don't land on me. Don't see any now, but they've been a problem this trip. Look at this thing of bug spray. See that right there? That was in a bear's mouth. I had this thing sitting on my trash cans at my house, and a bear was curious and bit it. But... Still pressurized, didn't puncture it. This bug spray is like the knockoff brand of off, but it's from Walmart. Works just as good. Let's go for a little walk in the woods. This is a log skid road, meaning tractor trailers never went out here. A machine went out here to bring the logs back. And by the looks of it, this was logged maybe last year, two years ago. Let's go on a nice little walk. Got the big high boots on in case we encounter a lot of mud. You might see frogs and other creatures in these little pools. I see water skimmers. Yeah, this probably was last year logged. This doesn't look like too much growth. Recently got a good deal on bug spray. That stuff there at Walmart's usually like $5 a container or... You save like a dollar if you get a two-pack, but there was a glitch at a Walmart when I was in New Hampshire, and it said on the shelf $1.50, couldn't believe it. Bought like two dozen of them, and when I, yeah, I got to the register, that was actually the price. Some kind of glitch, since the two-pack was labeled $9 right next to it. And looked in other parts of the store, they had a center aisle, a pallet of it. Same price. Like, the employee should have known that was a mistake, but they labeled in multiple areas. We've got carpenter bees in here. They're like a bumblebee. They don't often sting. I, don't, I think even times in the past I've ran over bumblebee nests with the lawnmower, and I've got bit by them, but never stung. They're a gentle bee. They'll give you a warning of a bite before a sting. You see, this isn't too much. This isn't much of a road. It's not a road for a vehicle. It's a road that a piece of heavy machinery made to do a thinning job. You see, they cut down here and there. Then this extra space will let the trees that are remaining grow in a bit thicker and now there's a bunch of berry bushes the bears and deer are gonna love this this is gonna be hundreds of thousands of raspberries blooming soon throughout these openings see uh a little yeah uh, look at that right there those will be ripe in a week or two we got blueberries this is all blueberries actually, wow. These are all little blueberry bushes. Bears will love that. Bears don't have hands, so they don't pick them one by one like a human. They just eat all the surrounding leaves when they go, go to the berries. Yeah, here they were cutting down white pines for lumber. There's some nearby areas here. They left all the big trees standing because they only went in for the pulp that round. And this area here is the opposite. They went in, it looks like, for the lumber last year and didn't really want these smaller pulp trees at the moment. That's some nice flowers around here. It's very mossy and wet, this area of the woods. Yeah, here's, yeah, here's the white pine trees. Hey, yeah. This, I believe, this was probably cut down in the spring. 
like all the grass here is growing healthy it's not pushed over yeah they were logging this in the spring this stuff isn't even completely brown yet the summer heat will turn it completely brown yeah this was just in the spring they were logging this area not even a year squishy right here those are moose tracks these holes I wonder when they do the logging what that looks like for the lumber trees. Do they just have a really big machine that they grab it with, tip it over and rip all the branches off? Is it the same kind of tree that cuts these down? Cause they can just, I've seen the guys that are fast. They cut down like six trees every minute with those. But see, they weren't after pulp. There's nothing wrong with a bunch of these things they left here. at all the big ferns see those are pretty tall those are actually waist high there's a log truck going by right now out on the road I hear it ooh there's a swamp in here let's go look at that these are tops of the white pines they didn't want that it's not large enough for the sawmill I guess all the scrap they leave out here is stuff that's they don't consider worth the cost of moving it like a lot of even those treetops those are thick enough to be a, a couple two by sixes in there no it's not water like i thought it's another clearing where they drove a big machine through a lot of peat moss here more moose tracks Yep, they drove a big machine over all these trees just to get the couple big lumber trees out of here. Believe it or not, these clearings here are beneficial to things like the moose and deer population because this will grow in with a lot of berry bushes and stuff. And the more trails like this there are in the woods, the less deer and moose will be walking out and about on the roads because they walk on the roads because sometimes the forest is too dense to make it worth it but where i'm walking now they didn't cut this down they're gonna let this these trees thicken up and they'll come in here for pulp wood We're back to our clearing, got a bunch of blueberry bushes. Anytime there's a natural blowdown, it grows back with a bunch of berry bushes. Then the trees get too big, shade them out, turns back into the woods. That's what happens. This is why sometimes there's booms in the deer population, especially around farms. Look at that water there really squishy still smells good in here there's still a lot of sap in this look at that just popped a bubble I like the smell of sap They don't really have to be too neat about this because this part of the country's never had the wildfire issues. This stuff will all start rotting fairly quickly. You see all the logs here laying on the ground? It's probably from like two decades ago when they logged it. They left all the junk they didn't want laying here. The moss is taking it over. Then these little trees you see grew back. See this uprooted one? It's probably left there on the ground a decade or two ago. Forests like this 
when they regrow tightly together after cutting the old growth down. This has probably been logged about four or five times since the old growth would have been cut down over a hundred years ago. The old growth forests have healthier ecosystems. These forests grow faster. The trees are tightly together, so they're not as healthy, more, sus more susceptible to blowdowns, but more productive as a tree farm since they grow faster this way. But if they were allowed to continue growing, like if they never logged it again, it eventually overcrowd and only certain ones would survive over time. But the smaller trees grow faster. They absorb more carbon from the air, more pollution than the older forests since the older growth trees grow a lot slower as they age. A couple years you won't even be able to walk in here anymore. Once there's cover over all this, it'll start rotting fairly fast. This year's been a cool year. A lot of rain helps rot all this stuff away. All right, everyone. I hope this short video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.